Hello Space Cats and welcome back to my channel. As of yet, the origins of COVID-19 are still undetermined. Was it originating from a market in Wuhan or did it escape from a lab in the same city? Was it released by the US Army or was it developed by the British? In this week's video, I'm going to present a whole new theory. Maybe, just maybe, COVID-19 originated from outer space. In this week's video, we're going to be talking about space viruses. Astronomer Sir Fred Hoyle and astrobiologist Professor Chandra Wickramasinghe have been prominent voices for the theory that diseases and viruses like the flu and polio have extraterrestrial origins. They've even published books such as Viruses from Space and the 1979 book Diseases from Space. Viruses multiply by attacking and destroying our cells. They do this deliberately and specific viruses will only attack specific cells. So this raises the question of how a virus could have evolved in space and possibly have adapted to attack cells on Earth. One simple explanation for this is that maybe it hasn't. Maybe instead it is the host cells that have adapted to allow itself to be attacked by a virus. The host cells could have been exposed to previous similar space viruses and evolved to be more susceptible to them. But surely that goes against the principle of selection and evolution, right? Survival of the fittest. Except it doesn't. Disease is actually essential to every species and it is from invading viruses and bacteria that we undergo the most important changes and advances in our evolution, as paradoxical as it may seem. There's a theory circulating on the internet that COVID-19 may have originated from outer space. On October the 11th, 2019, a huge fireball was seen in the sky, caused by a meteor burning up in Earth's atmosphere. The meteor hit the city of Songyuan in China, and according to Professor Wickramasinghe, it's likely that the virus particles dispersed along air currents in the region of the coronavirus outbreak. The viruses could lie dormant within comets and asteroids and travel to Earth during impact. In fact, there have been previous links to pandemic outbreaks and the appearance of meteorites, including the SARS outbreak in 2002, which coincided with a huge meteorite impact in Russia. The theory that life and DNA, such as viruses and diseases, can spread across the universe by hitchhiking on comets or meteorites is known as panspermia. Extremophiles, organisms that are capable of surviving inhospitable conditions of space, could become trapped in debris that is ejected into space after collisions between asteroids and planets that harbour life. And these life forms would remain dormant as they travel through space before colliding with planets like our own. Some even believe that life on Earth emerged through panspermia, since the first evidence for life on Earth was 3.8 billion years ago, and this corresponds perfectly with a period where Earth was heavily bombarded by asteroids. Nevertheless, COVID-19 is very similar to other known coronaviruses found here on Earth. In fact, a very similar strain is found in horseshoe bats, so it's unlikely to have come from a meteorite, but instead by human-animal transmission. Besides, the meteorite impact site Songyuan is over 2,000 kilometers away from the Wuhan, where the first confirmed case of the virus was found. Even if the virus was spread by wind, it would have sufficiently diffused out to be negligible across much shorter distances. Furthermore, a virus traveling on an asteroid would have to survive a very long journey in outer space, which would experience high uh, radiation levels. Lastly, even though the event seems to coincide with the meteorite impact, every year the Earth is bombarded by around 500 meteorites. That's a lot of pandemics or just sheer coincidence. And although scientists have found organic materials in meteorites, given all the evidence, personally, I think it is very highly unlikely that COVID-19 came from space. But there's still room for space virus invasions in the future, so beware. That's all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as usual, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave me a like, share and subscribe.